Club. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you be notified. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and you know how the thing goes. If you are a returning subscriber, returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you very much for coming back to show your support. You are highly appreciated. And yeah. It's a cold morning in Namibia. Yes, and I have coffee. That's why I'm hiking. But yeah, so I've been off the radar for quite some time. So in this video, I just want to do a little update, a little update, and tell you guys what I've been, how I've been addressing to give you a little bit, a few tips to know. Yeah. So the past few weeks that I've been off, like a week and a few days, um, I've just been trying to gather myself and keep myself together because I, I was not fine on this day. I honestly suffer from anxiety. I suffer from. I'm a thinker. I think a lot. To a point where I'm now stressed. And so I don't really allow that to reach the depression stage. So once I start feeling that something is not fine, I always go into lockdown mode, you know, and then just to try and tackle that problem. So that's what I've been really doing, and I've been doing a lot of praying, a lot of fasting, and yeah, you know, just trying to keep myself back together because I cannot sit and, I think I've said this before, motivate people and speak about the gospel of God when I'm not fine myself. You know, I need to speak from a place where you know I am at peace so that when I'm speaking my words will not be filled with that negative and that down energy. It will be with a nice and you know because our words are very powerful. So you want to make sure that you are speaking in an appropriate tone, in a pure tone. So I don't want to sit there and I'm not fine. I'm having a whole bunch of stress on me. And I'm there sitting, telling people, guys, don't uh, do not do that. Don't do that if you feel like that. that, that. I'm sitting here, not taking my own advice. So I take my own advice and say, I go into lockdown mode, tackle the problem and try to figure out what's going on. Because guys, if you pretend that you're fine and you're not, that problem is going to roll into a big snowball and then you won't be able to control it. Now you are depressed. Now you are what? You are what? If you feel that something is not fine, immediately lock down and identify the problem. Once you've identified the problem, tackle it. Deal with it. I was doing a lot of praying, a lot of fasting. I was trying to put myself together because I'm a very anxious person, man. I'm a very anxious person. I have no problems whatsoever. So, I hope. I have no patience whatsoever. So, I've, I've been really been trying to get myself. But, um, and I will, I will give you guys the, the part two of the Get to Know Me and the part two of, uh, of, 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 of the sequel uh, spill because there are still questions that I did not answer. I had to film that as well. So I'm now back. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, content is coming. And yeah. So I mean just keep on watching. And yeah. Another thing I've realized is that in the past week is that I am the cause of my delay. And I can tell I've, I'm really, I'm late. I'm supposed to be at places, but I'm not, like, 
but the lifestyle that I chose to lead caused that delay. Because I gave my life to God. And the thing is, I was not all in. Do you understand? It's like you can't you come into the pool of Christianity. But my mind was somewhere else. I allowed Lucifer to kind of sit at the control panel of my mind and allow me to think, you know, he's just controlling what I think and how I feel. And guys, if your mind is not in the right space, I mean, that's where everything happens and stuff and stuff. So you want your mind to be okay. So before you choose your path and before you even give your life to God, make sure your mind and your heart are at the same pace. They are running at the same level. One should not be ahead of the other. They should be together. And then you take these two and you give them to God and say, I give them to you. You know. Because if your mind is somewhere else, I, 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 the problem. And the thing is, our minds, this is where our thoughts are. And in our thoughts, that is the one part that we are so much stronger than the enemy. And if he gets control of your thoughts, telling you what to feel, when to feel, you know, and if he gets into your thoughts, that's where now he can manipulate you. Like God is the one talking to you, but he's not really the one talking to you. But it's Lucifer who's making you think that God is talking to you, because God uses our conscience to talk to us. That's one of the ways that God can speak to you as well. There are many ways, but that's one of the ways. So you're you're thinking about something, doing something, and you're thinking that. This is God talking to me, but it's Lucifer who's talking to you. So make sure your mind is in the right position. Fix your mind. Let us fix our minds, guys. Because our thoughts are in there, and that is one of the uh, uh, places where we are so much stronger than the enemy. If you are the one who's controlling what you think, because your mind wants to satisfy your flesh. Understand? So if you are the one controlling what you feel and you're like, huh, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to go drink alcohol. But then you tell yourself, no, you switch that thought off. Be the one to control it. Now, if you are not the one controlling, the enemy will, be, will give you that go drink alcohol. And after drinking alcohol, under the impression that you're under the alcohol influence, you're doing things that, you know, you can still be drunk and still know what you're doing. So guys, God, let us put ourselves in order. Don't think that you are right. Don't ever think that you are fine. If you are not fine, identify the problem. After identifying the problem, tackle the problem and fix it. So yeah, that's a little, and just like a little update and just to share that tip with you guys because I feel like it's a big problem. We don't have control of our minds. So have control over your mind and your heart and everything and give your life to God. Because I can tell you this, we are we are the second return of God. Jesus Christ is coming back, guys. And I can tell you that. You know, and I would really recommend that you give your life to God. So yeah, that's a little content that I created for today. And so, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. And check out my other channel as well. I will leave the link and the name and everything in the description box. Uh, not in the box, down below, you know, yeah. So, thank you very much. Don't go to love you all. God bless.